Now be honest, how many of you guys don't invest your time leveling your trust rank or just doing things in your Serenity pot because you think it's boring or just not fun? A lot of you guys. But you can actually get Primal Gems from the Serenity pot and many other great things. And so you should totally start building your serenity pot from today if you haven't started yet. And in this guide, I'll show you guys every single thing that you should know about the serenity pot and to make it easier for you guys to get all the things that you need. So first, let's begin with a brief description of all the things that the serenity pot gives you. First of all, you'll have Tubby and over there you'll have the trust rank, the switch realm style, the create furnishing and the realm depot. This isn't really that important. It's just changing your style. That's not that important. So when you go to this page, you'll have your trust rank, your adeptal energy, your companions hosted and your coins. So this is really straightforward, you're just gonna get coins from this and the amount of coins depends on the amount of buildings you have built on the serenity pot and this is just your friendship rank, it builds up automatically so that's another bonus. Then you have your trust rank, so this is where you get your primal gems, not just this but this is one of the ways you can get primal gems. So as you can see, there are 10 levels and each of them gives 60. So that's about 600 Primal Gems already that you can get from this. Uh, I'll tell you guys how to level up your Trust Rank. But before that, let's go to the Great Furnishing tab. Now here is your Furnishings. As you can see, this, if you have this symbol on your Furnishing, that means that you've never created this Furnish before. Now when you do, you'll get 90 trust rank points. Let's just name it that. And this is how you level your trust rank up. So you have to create new furnishings for that to level up. And this is, uh, you know, where your queue is. And this is for the dyes and the fabric. So the next part is the realm depot. This is the best place. Uh, this is why you should, honestly, this is so good. First of all, you get transient resin, which is just like condensed, re not condensed, uh, a fragile resin you get this you get one per week it has a timer of 14 days so you have to use it before it ends and so you'll get one of uh, one fragile resin per week so you and you'll also get 20 heroes wits every week this resets every week um you'll get 20 of those and then you'll get a hundred of these uh, wanderers advice so and you'll also get ore if you need if you need more you can buy that uh this is for artifacts you shouldn't buy that but um whatever you need you can buy it from here you need uh, to unlock this uh, realm depot you know realm treasures tab you need to have your trust rank at level 7 now it might seem like you, it might be a long process to get to here but it's not that big of a deal um it's really easy and uh, you can do this you can get your trust rank level 10 uh within two weeks i guess it's you don't have to actively focus on getting things up just it, it, you can do it on a daily basis. I'll show you guys what you can do you know, on a daily basis if you want to finish your serenity pot and get primal gems. But that'll be at the end of the video. So if you want to watch that, then please do stick around. Now, this is the furnishing stuff. You need to buy these, like, at least you're going to get them every single day. This, this resets every single day. So every day you come here, you need to buy them. Because what this does is um, you'll have a timer before each furnishing finishes. Just buy 5 of these every single day, it's just 50 realm currency, so just buy 5 every day and until you have uh, 70 or 60 you can stop because you won't need more than that. And then here is where you buy your furnishings. First I will recommend you guys to buy the green ones, these, first there will be a lot of green ones, then buy all the blue ones, then you can, then you can start buying the blueprints. Not these blueprints, there's like uh, sets, set blueprints that you can buy for another way of getting primal gems so it there's you can get uh stuff through the realm depot and then you can get primal gems from the trust rank and you can also get primal gems from sets which i will show you in the next part now this is not that big of a deal it's just for like um you know farming if you guys want to do that you can place your you can buy seeds from here and then you can place them in your fields so you'll have more ways of getting the you know you know plants for your characters there's one more last thing uh which i don't have currently it would have been here uh but i've already completed it so it's not no longer here but it's basically like you know the adventures rank uh book thing that you have to complete challenges and then unlock uh rewards it's the same thing for certain teapot but instead of rewards you get more furnishings now at first it may feel a bit uh useless but 
at the end uh, you should complete it beforehand complete it beforehand because some of the furnishings that you need will be uh, obtained from that page for your sets now let's move on to the next important segment which is sets now i have switched my realm style that's why it looks a bit different uh, because here i have place of my sets so you can get 40 primal gems per character you'll see over here you have your buildings landforms whatever whatever you should place them uh, you should have one realm style where you place all of your um buildings so you get your adeptal energy up and you can get more of that realm currency and then you should have another uh, realm style for your outdoor sets so as you can see here these won't be beneficial to you at all they don't give you anything but if you go into this one you might have none of these unlocked okay because you need to buy furnishing set blueprints okay if i click on this you'll see the characters like um, venti rosaria barbara jean kaya what this means is that these characters like this set first of all i have i've already placed this set here and you'll need few things now these can be unlocked through the shop or some of these things can only be unlocked from the book that's why i want you guys to complete the book and then start buying things and then after you buy these things after you get them these trees by the way can be bought from the realm deeper too you can place this set down now after placing a set down all you have to do is go to this place and invite now i can i need to invite rosaria here so let me just do that so i've placed rosaria there if i just talk to her now she's gonna give me stuff it's 40 primal gems per character why 40 because right now she gave me 20 this is a set on the outside so over here 20 here and there will be a set that she likes inside this house you'll also have sets for uh you know places inside the rooms and stuff so you have two sets for the outside and for the inside so i've pretty much mentioned all the important things that you need to know about the serenity pot so now let me move on to the last section which is how to get your serenity pod built in the most efficient way to start off your serenity pod you need to place down builds so first of all you have to go to the realm depot and buy all the green blueprints how many ever you can buy so buy them and then you have no currents left so now what you do is go to the uh, furnishing tab create those furnishings leave them on the creation queue and that's it you can leave that's all you need to do if you have a missing material go and get it but don't just get the amount that's required get a lot of it so if it's saying you need you have only four while you need eight don't just go farm four trees and that's it farm as much as you can you know spend some time and you don't have to farm again for that thing for example these are all filled and you still and you can still make more furnishings do that okay make more furnishings uh and use your vial of adeptal seed on them and after you've built, if you can't build anything else, uh, and this is all filled, you can leave it for the day and come back tomorrow. Eventually, your trust rank will finish. Yeah, make sure that for at first, you only build those which have this blue color sign. Only those. Do not build some, some random furnishing which doesn't have it. You're not going to get any trust rank uh, points. Now, after your trust rank is maxed, you can of course uh start trying to get the sets that's what i did i went for the sets later on after i finished my trust rank and you know i already had a lot of builds bought and built so i didn't have to spend a lot of my time trying to find those furnishings buying them and stuff now that is my approach what you can do is if you want primal gems instantly you don't need to go for the trust rank so you can do is look for the sets so you go on Google, so you have Yaimiko, you have Shangling, you have to go on Google search which set do they like the most. You see this, um, some set, go to Tubby and buy that set. Now see what do you need for to, to make that set. All those furnishings, now look for them, buy them, build them, done. You get 20 Heroes of Wits uh, every week and, you know, Fragile Resin. So it's really beneficial in the end game. So you can, if you're a new player, start building it. Do not say that it's boring or your friends are saying it's not fun. Just do it. You're going to you're gonna be happy uh, with the end result later on. So that's basically the most, uh, you know, that's basically everything that you need to know about the Serenity Teapot. If you guys think I missed something or you have, um, you know, more efficient ways of getting the Primal Gems, then please do let me know 
in the comments below and uh, yeah that's it for this video i'll see you guys later bye